huge new red light district erupts in New York City, fueled by arrival of migrant Venezuelan prostitutes. So, remember the stories right after Venezuela's collapse of all these uh, all these doctors and lawyers and politicians that suddenly had to resort to prostitution to, to feed their kids. Now they're in the U.S. They could go back to being doctors and lawyers and politicians. And they're still out on the street corner. Because I think they realize, yeah, this is the only job I can compete in. Uh, New York City has seen a new, huge new red light district thanks to the arrival of hordes of female Venezuelan migrants who are working as prostitutes. <laughs> I sure did. Now, Roosevelt Avenue in the Corona neighborhood of Queens is filled with Venezuelan migrants offering sex services in open air, so-called market of sweethearts. <laughs> In recent weeks, sex workers have been uh, have been seen walking the streets during the day with many aggressively soliciting even as children get out of school or uh, during their lunch hour. But were they soliciting the children? I wouldn't put it past them. Now, previously, the Bronx was home to the Big Apple's highest concentration of sex workers for hire. Previously, that's still happening now. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, Mayor Adams said on Tuesday, the situation just one of many in which the uh, migrant crisis affecting the shitty, which has received over 120,000 new asylum seekers since last spring. When asked by reports, reporters about the open air sex market, Adams said the situation has been brought to his attention. He visited the area himself. <laughs> yeah, he had to try the goods himself, right? Confirming that illegal activity is taking place publicly at all hours of the day and night. Is it a sanctuary city for sex workers, too? Uh, the Democrats said the shitty's intel says many of the sex workers are Venezuelan whamans who recently arrived in New York. It's unclear if these whamans were sex workers at home, if they're selling their bodies of their own free will, or if they've been trafficked and coerced. No, they they were uh, these were the doctors and lawyers and engineers that, that that society can't live without. As soon as things get tough, they ditch those jobs to go to the street corner. Yeah, they're going the true hentai route, started for money, stayed for pleasure. Oh, they're going to go the real hardcore route where they start paying you to have sex with them. <laughs> right, Adams continued, this is what happens when you create an atmosphere that people can't provide for themselves. I've turned to illegal activities to do so. When I talk about the spiral impact of how this is going to affect our shitty, this is what I'm talking about. We're going to create uh, generational problems based on the failure of national government. And that is one example. Oh, now you suddenly know how to blame Brandon for this, huh? Now that it's your problem? Okay. Now, the mayor said the shitty has identified two locations of concern, one in East New York in Brooklyn, the other in Roosevelt Avenue. He said he'll focus on prosecuting the Johns and giving assistance to the sex workers. Yeah, this is how they always do it. So the uh, this is illegal, yet only one side gets punished. Like, if, imagine... If they they stopped punishing drug dealers, like drug dealers were given government assistance, but all the addicts who bought drugs from them were treated like criminals and imprisoned. That's pretty much what they're doing here. And a prostitute is considered a Class B misdemeanor in New York, punished by up to three months in jail and or up to a $500 fine. Patronizing a prostitute is a Class A misdemeanor, punished by up to one year in prison and or up to a $1,000 fine. Same act. Uh, the mayor also slammed local officials who are working against the shitty to legalize sex work because they see it as dignified labor. Wow, I would, uh, you're going to lose the, your, uh, your constituents there. Now, this is where idealism collides with realism. I wish more far leftists would come to this realization in all of their views, honestly. I've had elected officials tell me that the whamans are just trying to work. Why are you trying to harm them? But there are real issues around illegal sex work from STDs to sex trafficking, girls to violence, he said. Thousands of Venezuelan asylum seekers have been abused, uh, have been bussed north uh, after crossing the U.S.-Mexico border by uh, conservative governor Greg Abbott. Most come from extreme poverty and have crossed the dangerous Darien Gap in their journey from the troubled socialist nation. Do they really? Or are they are these just the former doctors and lawyers that uh, decided, yeah, this, this is a lot more fun than my previous job? In September, the Brand administration issued temporary legal status for an estimated 472,000 Venezuelans who arrived in the country as of July 31st. That was on top of the 242,000 who were previously uh, covered under TPS grants. The Roosevelt Hotel in Midtown has been called the new Ellis Island as hundreds go through its doors every day requesting shelter and aid. Man, I am so glad I don't live in the big shitty anymore. As New York deals with the 60,000 people in its care, Shitty Hall has signed nearly 200 eye-watering emergency contracts totaling over $5 billion to housing care for the migrants. 
Now suddenly you care about the problem. I have to say, upon some emergency shelters, they st- it still is a- out of capacity and just be looking for room to house migrants as required by the city's right to shelter law, which Adams is trying to amend. You're going to let the sanctuary city thing be nothing but an empty virtue signal? Come on, guys. And when asked if Shitty Hall is still considering tent camps, as previously reported in Daily Mail, Adams said all options remain on the table. The Democrats said the shitty government is considering having having pivot their plans, according to the rival numbers. Last week, around 2,500 arrived in the shitty, but uh, another week saw as many as 4,000 new arrivals. As the shitty is out of space, Adams repeated his goal is for no family or child to have to sleep in the street. The mayor's office previously said encampments at Central Park, Prospect Park, and uh, and the Floyd Bennett Field are on the table. You guys are just going to de- just wreck your property values doing that. Are you aware of that? You know, with hotels and other locations combined, the shitty has opened at least 250 emergency shelters for migrants. Back in March, there were just 103, demonstrating how the crisis continues to worsen. And this is just a small taste of what the border states have been going through for years. They sure talked mad shit until this became their problem, huh? Yeah, now all of a sudden, oh, we need to do something about this. Good, glad to have you on board. Textbook example of me being vindicated again. No one cares about your problems? Fine, make it their problem, and suddenly they care. Now they want to fix it. 